but Global Peace Festival is bringing a new vision of peace to people all over the world. People of all faiths, people of all colors, we're here to let the world know that we can be together. Communities have been coming together, inspired by the vision of building one family under God. Service is an important part of GPF, helping to break down barriers and bringing a model for creative solutions to peacemaking. Yo vi que los jóvenes eh, están muy entusiasmados con este proyecto. You can do things for your neighbor and your community. And that's what Global Peace Festival is teaching us. The international leadership conferences are an educational network for GPF partners to discuss faith-based cooperation and good governance. I am very much encouraged by the emphasis on the uh, importance of the heart and the spiritual values and the values of families. We answer to a higher authority, and until people govern with that idea, good governance can't take place. We're advocating love and brotherhood, one global family under God. It's beautiful. In July 2008, Latin American countries combined resources to host the GPF in Paraguay. Esta presencia de ustedes, la presencia de cada uno de ustedes nos fortalece y nos da esperanza. The famous Jose Luis Chilabert, the soccer star, he felt so inspired about the festival, he was going around all the TV making ads and clearly explaining to the people of Paraguay the significance of the Global Peace Festival. The Global Peace Festival. In Paraguay, I feel proud that it can be made the Festival for Peace here in Paraguay. Local radio stations invited people to bring food and clothing donations in exchange for tickets. I'm here to collaborate with the children, with clothes or with clothes. We will bring the message of peace. Y dar el mensaje de Paraguay. But to all of Latin America. De todo Paraguay a toda América Latina. The people I brought with me from Peru really want to do it. They all feel. Yeah, we can do it. We can fill the stadium. I'm sure it can spread from here. In Kenya, the Global Peace Festival was of special importance, coming on the heels of post-election tensions. The newly elected Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, warmly welcomed the GPF. Wanaichi wa Kenya hamjambo. Dr. Moon is a really true friend of Kenya. The UPF yesterday mobilized the youth to clean Nairobi River. Is that not a great thing? We came to clean Nairobi River around the Makasi constituency because this area is highly polluted. International and local partners worked on this project and are preparing for follow-up activities in partnership with the government of Kenya. A local politician went there and I believe he was actually moved by what he saw, by the work that was going on. I think the arrival of somebody with some power actually made it you know, a different type of event. It was almost like a biblical thing in that people came from nowhere. Because he was a man who had, I believe, um, the hard work in him to be able to deliver for them. This now is the time to start spending money with peace. They were coming from all kinds of tribes, strong, having hope. They want to claim their country. They want to go forward. Hope is there because our people in this country are hardworking. We've had that one experience in this country this year where we realized that the peace we so much took for granted is a very fragile thing and needs to be nurtured. It is amazing that we have Global Peace Festival in Kenya. We want to share our love and embrace the whole continent and open big doors. A better day for Kenya has come. The strategic location of Mongolia as a country bordering both Russia and China represented unique opportunities for the GPF in Asia.
there was a state ceremony welcoming the arriving dignitaries. This is an honor in any country which is reserved only for heads of state, heads of government or for very, very special occasions. The Deputy Prime Minister acknowledged the work of the GPF delegation. With the recent conflict in Georgia in mind, the ILC considered options for peace in the South Caucasus region. We должны сохранять способы достойного избрания лидера. Мы должны находить способы достойного взаимодействия с нашими соседями. Acknowledging that youth are the future leaders, GPF organized several projects for area-wide schools and NGOs. Many young kids in kindergarten, they joined in the service program and they were painting walls and cleaning yards. It's such a wonderful because this means that they are cleaning the future and painting their future in a bright smile. The grand finale brought tens of thousands of Mongolians to celebrate the festival in Subhatar Square. GPF USA was held at the grounds of the capital, symbol of freedom and hope. We are here to look for that common element to live together. And if we can make it here, everybody else in this globe can make it. Quero convidá-los para dia 5, 6 e 7 de dezembro para o grande festival global da paz que se realizará em Brasília. Interfaith is not just dialogue, interfaith is action. We're called to do acts of service and kindness. If we all adjust our lives towards living for the sake of others, I believe we can also forgive each other. Martin Luther King Jr. reminded the world that I've been to the mountaintop. I may not get there with you, but we as a people will get to the promised land. He was talking about all people. He was talking about one family under God. We stand on hallowed ground where the past and the present can come together as one and a greater tomorrow can begin. The time has come to tear down those man-made walls, the walls of race, culture, religion, and country and establish a peaceful ideal world of God's cherished hope and desire. Let us own the dream to create one family under God and become the owners that can usher in a new age of global peace. Thank you very much. May God bless you and your families and this great nation of America. What you have seen today, what you've heard today, what you have felt today is destiny. Today is unlike any other day that you have lived. Amen.